Railway track or rail roads are consist of ballast bed, steel rail, railway sleeper and other railway fasteners. These same things are required to replace an old track. Apart from these things, the other thing that matters the most in this process is the machinery that used to complete this process. The process starts with replacing the old stones with the new one. It depends on the requirements. If it is needed, then in blast cleaning machine, remove the old stone layer and transfer to other dumper drain and place new stone layer. The rest of the work is then taken over by one single machine in most of the cases which you can see on your screen. The machine picks up the old concrete ties and moves on to another conveyor system and put them out of the way. The machine then transports these old concrete ties to the rear of the train as they are no longer needed. The new concrete ties moving down forward that will be dropped onto the ballast and underneath. On the other hand, the work of pulling the old ties up on the other conveyor goes on simultaneously. The machine installs the new tie at an appropriate distance from each other. The machine is positioning the solid welded rail back in place onto the new tie plates which are bolted down to the tops of the new concrete ties. It is rare that the entire railway line has to be replaced but if the need is felt then the work is done by the same machine. During placing new concrete ties, it also removes the old welded rail and place the new one. After this, the removed old rail cut into small pieces and move to other place with the help of crane and dumpers. The trackman then places insulated plates down. The machine pushes the hardware over the insulator plates, causing them to collapse down and lock the rail into place. A scoop is sculpting the ballast rock into its designated resting location and then tempers it down. The front shovel pulls some ballast rock and digs it through a chute. Whilst also a grinding wheel of sorts seems to be sideways tempting rock under the rail while another part of the machine lifts the rail into the desired level position. Basically it is lifting the track showing rocks under it and in the process doing this some of the rocks get pulled into a chute that are then backfilled over the empty sides of the track. These are like several jackhammers all tempting the rocks down into place to tighten the foundation. The rail and ties will settle on. It seems to also be making another level adjustment on the rail because as the ballast move around it's changing. The process is similar to stomping dirt around a post that you have put into a hole. On ballast rock cars are opened at the bottom and rocks fill up the loose spots that are likely to be tamed down again. Now the old track is replaced and after some checks it will be ready to use. 